this was only a fetid taste of things to come. The sky. All these things to come. Was a greyish blue, accompanied by an almost white sun. Well, at least it wasn't red. The oh, colours wow. weren't bright or cheery in the slightest. The pyramid blocks were faded and cracked, and the wooden blocks were obviously rotting. Mario's sprite was visibly starving and pleading for thirst. Wait, pleading? Yeah, that's what it says. Pleading for thirst. Please, please, please I'm, so, I'm so hungry. Please make me thirsty too to take my mind off it. <laughs> I'm so full of water. The fire creatures fixedly stared at me like a shark stares at a school of fish, except it doesn't because a shark never stops moving, seeming to know who their next meal was. The neutral expressions of the Coopers had changed into ones of converged disgust and loathe. I had obtained the raccoon by now, so I ran along the pipe-looking platform and took off. I flew for a little while. Which was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was really enjoying this game. Mario's face changed as well, being the normal happy smile you usually see throughout the entire game. Does he even smile? He just seems to have a blank look that's moustaches in the way of most of his face. I relish in the few moments of happiness I sought from this game. These moments were mercilessly ended within the course of a few seconds. The sky flashed a gloomy black before the blood whistle came and impaled the poor plumber yet again. Mario fell, his corpulent figure <laughs> going limp. You know, until Mario's he hit the ground. Fat, with a but thump. I don't think he actually qualifies as corpulent. <laughs> I swore I could feel. He was miraculously alive. Must have been all that fucking fat there. Must be because shit. he's a fucking game character. His and body twitching real. in a feeble attempt to rise. A fire creature jumped on Mario, who was now pinned to the ground and screaming in pain. Let it happen, just let it happen. His scream was bitterly realistic. It reeked of such ineffable pain, it hurts me now to describe the sheer degree of torture this character was put through. Oh, give the fuck over. Burning and seething in pain, and there I sat, completely powerless. Not getting tortured, watching someone else getting tortured. Forced to watch what I thought was the end of his trials on World 2. I was so wrong. Forced to watch. I couldn't have hit, I don't know, X yeah. on the corner you know, of the You know a few seconds emulator. ago how he was like, oh man, I'm really enjoying this. And then those happened like, yeah. wait a minute. I suddenly realised that, that I could play the normal version of this game. So I did. It was awesome. It's like I think I suddenly realised I actually Then I decided life. to play Super Mario World for 10 years. Oh man, Super Mario World. Good game, man. Yeah. The level select came into view. Whistle through back. No, let's try that again. The level set came into view, whistle through back. When the level started, <laughs> the background was an egregious smoke-filled black. Hmm. Bursts of lightning filled the sky with illumination of the Illuminati. Yes. Winged demons in flight were visible upon these strokes. Also, in the skies glowed stagnantly lit pentagrams and 666. Hooray! Mario was being carried by two of Bowser's sons up one of the game's pyramid structures. However... This particular structure was vastly different from the regular ones. The bricks were cracked and faded with age. The edges were jagged with dried blood caked on each block. Nothing but a heavy drumbeat and the sounds of thunder played in the background. I can't stop this feeling. The thunder didn't play in unison with the lightning as happens in most games. There was an eerily realistic pause between the flare of lightning and the boom of thunder. As the top of the structure was reached, I saw the worst thing yet. I saw the worst thing ever. Bowser towered above everyone else, intimidating and terrible. Below stood four of his sons, two of which had carried Mario. Morton, Iggy, Ray and Von Cooper. Who gives a crap about their names? Uh above the entire scene were the words Blood Whistle in bright red neon letters. Bowser's face had to have been ten times more evil than I had ever seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So he goes to all these, like, these like, lengths of like just flowerily describing shit, and it's like, his face it was, was evil ten times more so than normal. His face was more evil. <clears throat> his green shell was cracked, and his white spines... Seriously, did you just give up? Like, you blood. know, I've used up all the good words already. It's like... I've nothing left to describe bowels, so he's ten times worse than normal. I'm not get letting this go. Blood was fresh on his teeth, also, as his serpentine tongue licked them, making clear his intentions on what to do with Mario after he disposed of him. It was then I came to a dooming realisation. Mario can't die. The game won't let him. However many things are thrown at him, in however many ways he is brutally maimed, 
mortality will not escape him. For a time, that is. He will continue to be sustained by whatever dark force or sick mind that drives the rest of these occurrences to pass until the game's eventual end, in which he will ruefully and painfully perish. Where is he getting any of this shit? <laughs> That's another know. case of someone who doesn't know the difference between fiction and reality. <laughs> oh my god, Matt, I must help him! <coughs> He's trapped on that tiny screen! I'm sure you get some pancakes, got a headache. Alright. <laughs> Do you hear that? He's got a headache from reading this shit. Now that that has been said. That. That that, that has been said. <laughs> that continues said. to die experience. Suddenly Von Cooper produced a dagger. It gleamed with uncanny realism in the light of the blood whistle sign that loomed above. After a brief pause, he began to slice Mario's chest open. The end. <laughs> I wish. Mario again brayed that fearful cry. A cry that implied that he would that, that he would die only to endure torture of ten times the magnitude. Tears streamed down his face as Von removed his heart, still pumping. If he's Charlie playing, Ma! If he's, if he's playing an 8-bit game, how? <laughs> it's a little 8-bit hurt. It's a little 8-bit hurt. If, you, if, you've tried to, if you've tried to play um, Mortal Kombat on Sega Master System. <laughs> He handed it to Bowser, who Bowser ate now it has Mario's heart. Did you do run, chink, chomp? His sons laughed as he did this, blood flowing from Mario's exposed abdomen. With a bark from their twisted father, the son shamelessly began to regurgitate and tear apart what was open. Wait, wait, they were re regurgitating. Apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's what well, we threw up into his wound and then started eating him. That's pretty fucked up. As they were doing this, Mario slowly turned his head towards me and uttered a single question through the tears of blood. Quay. Quay. <laughs> why? <laughs> Mamma mia, why? Mamma mia. I, why? I, I myself asked a very same question. Why would they treat him as, as an animal, if not less for their amusement? Probably because Bowser has been trying to kill that motherfucker for ages. <laughs> what do you do to your enemy? And finally lost his shit. <laughs> why would any, why would someone initiate the genesis of such a horrid contraption? So that, that went back to that like you couldn't have had something better to describe Bowser, but now oh, it's the genesis of <laughs> a contraption in which life and death have no meaning and are manipulates. A contraption in which concepts such as morals, remorse and mercy are completely foreign. So it's like GTA. It makes me shudder to think that there is someone sick enough out there to put a character through the kind of unbearable hell just to sit back and laugh. What about the real life people that actually yeah, do like... that? No, 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 it's, it's worse in game apparently. It makes me absolutely sick to my core. Okay, that reminds me of another thing. You're probably wondering as to why I complacently talk about Mario as if he's a human being. Yes, I fucking am. A human who suffers pain, sorrow, depression, starvation, and thirst, like the rest of us. Erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Sleepiness. <laughs> that rails you. Take two twice a day. <laughs> a human who is also capable of feeling happiness, remorse, goodwill, and love like anyone else. It's because I am thoroughly convinced he is. Oh, piss off! <laughs> please don't stop following no, this blog! No, I, I'm already please, done. Please, please. Like, because you think I'm insane. <laughs> you thought it'd be amazing. So, I'm not insane. Please like, comment, subscribe. That's you, isn't it? <laughs> you wrote this. I it's believe. It's an alternative version of you who's lost this shit. Without a shadow of a doubt. Apparently he'll explain that later, by the way. That inside this game... <laughs> is a character with a complex range of emotions. <laughs> Someone who feels like you and me. No. Oh, does he believe Trump's real as well? <laughs> it's Quickly, you have to stop the monster control. <laughs> but it's Quickly, just... Quickly, protect Jeff Bridges. A game, right? <laughs> it's just a contrived mixture of code and data put together to present words and images, correct? Yes! Wrong! Oh, fuck off! I know. Who died with, and made you king of the games? With everything inside of me, Switch that Mario has to be alive. No. <laughs> Why does it have to? I did, have did he, seen did he him. Did someone like go to Disney World or something and saw a real life Mario? <laughs> someone dressed up as him. Oh. He's alive. He I'm watched. Hoping... He watched that Ambassadors of Funk video. <laughs> <laughs> with the guy in that shitty Mario costume. You're gonna put, up, put a picture of that up. Uh, fuck it. Link in the description. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, 
Oh, you see one of these delusional people who believes that you can't tell a life from fiction. Makes me gonna tell us that Digimon are real. <sighs> I... they're, they're real, they live on the internet. I know with everything inside of me that Mario has to be alive. I have seen him truly happy and truly sad. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> What does that? Well, sorry, does that mean that Ang is real as well? That Walter White is real? I f fucking hell, that ET is real. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is real. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is real. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, Buffy, it's a documentary. Yeah, that's just what life is like in America. Just like Die Hard's a documentary. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't know how something so human could rise from something so truly inhuman. A character with a soul seemed completely impossible to me before I played this hack. And yet he's getting all this from a little shitty whistle with crappy graphics. Yes. At what point did Mario go like, Ah, oh, I'm gonna go live my life dream in this game or some shit. I, I know my this guy is insane. Yeah, at no point did Mario go to the author and go, Hello, uh, Jeff, or whatever your name my is. My life and dream. I'm going to write the great American novel. <laughs> Mamma mia! Everything's bigger in America. Just, I'm a real, didn't you know? We went to school together. I now have a goal with this game to keep the, this poor creature safe. So he's going on about how he's a human, now he's calling him a creature. Right, this was, if it, it'd still be shit, but if there's some indication that Mario was, I don't know, actually happy or alive Maybe in some way. Maybe he had a friend way. called Mario, I'd believe him, who just yeah. lived like Mario, somehow. I suppose I now know the real truth. I'll see all you all tomorrow. Same place, same time. Same bad time. <laughs> same bad <laughs> same channel. Bad